Hello friends, best greetings from Kyiv, the capital of Ukraine. My name is Viktor Hursov, I'm a research entomologist, beekeeper and teacher, and today we will be talking about insects, about insects in a city, because I have recorded different videos, a lot of videos which I've deposited on YouTube channel, but always needs to show different videos in different time for different audience, and I hope so some videos about butterflies about moths and beetles and caterpillars can be interesting for you. You can find many different species of insects and not only insects, but also some invertebrates, some arthropods on my channel. And today we'll be talking about insects which have been attracted on light trap, how to manage light trap and what does it mean? Light trap, this is a special light, light which you can put somewhere near your house, in a village or in a city, on your balcony. You can use also black light or ultraviolet light to attract more beetles and butterflies and moths. And actually some beetles can fly very far away and on the height, a high height, height. So we can come even to your balcony or somewhere on ninth floor of your building's apartment. I have collected some rhinoceros beetles on my fifth floor of my apartment. So we're just easily flying and just jumping, flying inside my balcony and fall down near the light. So quite surprisingly. So you don't worry with the beetles so heavy, but we cannot fly too high. Yes, we can do. And also some quite big night moths, we can fly far away and on very high height. I can attend even to your balcony. Unfortunately, in the last summer, the last but not the least, in 2021, 23, 21, I made light trip on 22. Last summer, I have not made light trip because of war in Ukraine. You know, it's quite dangerous time. So it was not possible to put light trap on the balcony because I would be like special, making special signal for some strange enemies. And they were very crazy about it. So it was pretty irritating time. Hello, Dmitry. Hello, hello. Welcome to my channel. Today we'll be watching different butterflies, moths, butterflies, they are daytime butterflies, and nighttime butterflies, they are moths, and also beetles, which were collected in on light trap. So you put your light trap or just simply better ultraviolet trap somewhere in, on your balcony near your house don't attract enemies but attract butterflies and moths and we will be coming just gradually one by one and just you can put also just white sheet of paper or just tissue near the light so what some insects will come kind of fall down on this white sheet it too easy identify them too easy recognize them because they are small, if they fall down on the floor, you cannot recognize them. The same if you can put your light somewhere outside of your house, if you are living in a rural area. So easier to put it somewhere in an orchard or in a garden, where it's a lovely place. So all insects from all around the your garden, surrounded park and forest will can come to your light trap. And you will have a hard job to select what in insects is maybe interesting and not interesting for you. Let's start from the beginning from the showing and I will show you these guys. First of all, some butterflies come in. Butterflies, butterflies, not daytime butterflies, but nighttime, it means they are moths. First moth was the Yes, yes, yes. This is very common, but moth. And this one is also coming in nighttime. This is leaf hopper. Leaf hopper. These are butterfly or moth of a family. Noctuid uh, with such wonderful red bands. Very common. Catocala. Catocala. And this one of a family Tortricide, probably male or such. It's a very special antenna, very visible head with 
eyes. And this one, it is so hairy. It is so big one. Also family knock to it. Probably the same catocala on the big side. Catocala is trying to fly. This is another species of Noctuidae family, night moths. Very hairy, covered with nice scales, nice coloration of a Noctuidae family moth. Also, once another species of Catocala with closed wings. Again, with red bands. Very nice Catocala, red bands Catocala. And this is family Noctuidae with spread all around open wings for self-protection or just to waiting to fly away. This is another species of tortricida. Uh, and sitting very carefully. So you don't need to kill all but a moth or insects which are coming to your light trap. You can just observe them on surrounded paper or just a white sheet of paper because they're just flying nearby, it's sit, trying to sit down and then just curl around your light. So this is a nice time for observations. So you see here, the picture of this leaf hopper just in front of the dark skies. There's another species of Noctuidae family, the same. What did you see there? Yeah, so you see, contrast, very high contrast. And this leaf hopper was covered with white scales, very special one. So one species came in several numbers. And this was mayfly, mayfly. Yeah, because nearby there is a river, Dnieper River, and some channels near, near the Dnieper, maybe just one kilometer near my house. Yes, you see here the head, and also you can recognize that's me just near university. And here, just I put insects in the petri dish, so you don't need to kill again all insects. Insects will be crowding around in a petri dish. You can observe carefully which insects are. Around. Just bet it for a short time because if you can keep in insects in a petri dish or another, there are longer period, some insects will be eating another insects. So because some insects are predaceous and others just phytophagous insects. So phytophagous insects are very helpless. We cannot protect themselves, we cannot escape from a dish, or we can fly for sure. We can jump, but if you close if you close petri dish or any jar, insects will be just enclosed area and predators will attack. Unfortunately, it's very helpless. Phytophagous insects here, are different orders. Green one, this is a Hemiptera bars. We family Myride, just in the left side, the left side of screen. And many different families of very tiny beetles. So beetles are coming to huge crowds. So that's why many species of different families can be collected and can be identified. So in some species of small size can be unique because the, the smaller insects and the smaller beetle is, it means less studied. So maybe have, these insects have been collected in your area, in my area. So it needs to identify them carefully. This one B1 was crawling of the family Dicida, I guess, aquatic beetle. Okay, we can make a little bit magnification better. On the right side, I guess, this is a predator, Carabinus one, or Cryptophagida. Yeah, this in the center around it, small Dicida or Gidrophilida. This big black one of a family Mordelida, Mordelida. Very common on flowers with elongated abdomen, and an elongated top of an abdomen. Nearby with very small one was family Anobide, Anobide. And maybe small one also Anobide or Cryptophagida. Oh, this one is very active. 
carabine, green one is a mirror. Unfortunately, the dead one, dead one, beetle of a family, carabide. And also, again, this you see here. In the center, this is a hydrophilid or dytiscid beetle. So very, very small, not very big, like dytiscus. It's very tiny dytiscid aquatic beetles, are absolutely marvelous, absolutely amazing, beautiful, small aquatic beetles. All right, you see, big one is coming. Anticidid family, probably. I'm not quite sure. So I'm not coleopterist, so I can make mistake about families. So I'm not sure what. Probably Cerambicida, the one with flown antenna. Cerambicida. I guess so. Small green leaf hopper in the central part, near the down part of screen. Leaf hopper. Yes, it was closed. So we lead, plastic lead. So don't do. Allowed them to escape, although I still jumping out this, this petri dish. They are very active. So again, this one on the right side, this is carabide round beetle. Small one, but very active and predaceous. And small one is a Staphylinidae, Staphylinidae family, Staphylinidae family. This small one, mos mosquito fly, dipter order, very tiny fly, but probably male, so not dangerous, cannot bite anyone. Again, on the right side, probably, this is Pupris, not Pupriside, or Colonide, wood-boring beetle. Yeah, this one is coming. Looks like a oh, very tiny Scarabide beetle. Again, on the left side, this is a tiny Dytiscida family, aquatic beetle. Small, on the right side, small, two small individuals of a Staphylini, the family. And here are some green, green mosquitoes. So aquatic aquatic flies. So not biting, but I'm dead, unfortunately. Some insects dying very quickly because they're flying far away. It's maybe some may have been burned a little bit on, a, on the light because light sometimes in some cases are heating. So if insects are coming on light, sit down on light, they can be burned and damaged. So they fall down and die very quickly because they have been damaged and burned on the light. Even light is not very hot, but it's hot, very heating with high temperature in comparison with insects. So insects can be damaged if they sit down on directly on lamp. Here, just mass, mass of insects. Different one. This be, this black one is a carabide family, a round beetle. The green one is a miridibug, miridibug. This one is cryptophagida or anticida family with horn. It's funny, funny beetles with horn. I forgot the family of it. What is the family? I will write later. This one very fun, funny and very common. You know, many of them were crawling around. The fastest, the very active predators. They were eating all small insects everywhere around in this trap, in this jar. They were flying very quickly. I collected them with pooper or with ex -houster. I Collected with ex -houster and then put them inside the trap because they were running very quickly, you see, and they're running quickly here as well. This, this brown brown insects with a small horn on thorax. Here, this black one is a carabide beetle. Carabide beetle, a ground beetle, predator, predaceous. Thank you for interest. Yes, thank you, Dmitry, for interest interest about the flowers. We can repeat it again. I have only now not very big culture of the flowers, just few beetles. But I have them. Uh, and the beetle was crawling. Here, yeah, this one, very funny one, with horn on thorax. Looks like that, with very big horn. Died mm, tiny trichoptera. This was not moth, but trichoptera fly. 
pretty hot tower. Oh, you see this tiny drift off I did this, oh, this family also, this miraculous family. I'm not quite sure. This small one. You can indicate your proposal what species is this, what family is this small one. And on the right side, this is a again, again, a B1, B1 data seed a little. Okay. And this is a green one leaf hopper. This again, Miridi family, two, two bugs, one is brown and one is green. Let's start to see moths. Yes, you see, very nice moth with night moth with spread wings. Yes. Yeah. With very highly developed mimicry. So gray and with small spots. So practically invisible when the when this moth is sitting on the bark of tree. And sitting on the bark of tree, you can decide that this is a small leaf just attached to the bark, to the stem of tree because so well-developed mimicry. And this family Noctuide, also with spots, some black spots on a gray color, colored wings, also pretty invisible sitting on, on stems of trees or just on some plants. Many species are dangerous for agricultural crops. And under the other angle. So by sitting, in some cases, in, most were coming, they were just shocked by the light, they were attracted by the light. They were, if we have a place to sit nearby, we can sit carefully and just being shocked by the very strong light of a lamp. But in some cases, even big or small moths crowding around and moving very quickly. These are the very Careful, just sitting carefully. And I use the opportunity to record small videos about them before we fly away. So they're alive, so I didn't collect them for collection, just for recording video. So that's why I recorded them in different time and diff at different nights, by the way. And it was quite hard to record them somewhere on 1 or 2 p.m., on 1 or a.m. No, just a Midnight, somewhere in midnight, over midnight. One hour midnight or two hours after mid midnight. It was not so dark, but then the best insects were flying somewhere after midnight. And so I was collecting them maybe up to two o'clock midnight. Again, family Noctuide. On, so hairy, so colored with very nice scales. These are not hairs, these, these are scales. Looks like hairs. Looks like very hairy sheep, by the way. And with very good adaptive colors to be invisible somewhere on plant. Many species of moss have so strong adaptations to be invisible. But of course, depends from the place. The most important predators for them are birds. So birds can find them easily because they can recognize them easily, even despite their very nice mimicry. You see, head with distinctive eyes and antenna. So this probably feel with very thin, tiny antenna. And Males, we have a different antenna. Or legs with some horns. Very long, very long scales. The size about two, three centimeters size. Not more. But we have abdomen. And many species have a very interesting coloration of a hind wings. 
first pair of wings usually just a gray, white, uh, and the most colorful are uh, hind wings, hidden hind wings, like red stri red striped butterfly with red strips, which we watched before. Like this one, you see. And with some white, white spots on the first wings and trying to escape, trying to escape. And I was using aquarium for collecting them. So we were falling down inside aquarium. I put light trap on a small aquarium about 10 maybe. So insects were attracted to the light and just under the light was standing aquarium with transparent glass. So that's why insects were falling down inside aquarium, were crawling around or just sitting inside aquarium waiting how to escape in searching how to escape. And I have collected them for recording videos. Again, most of the family, Noctuide, just buzzing by buzzing with winds. This another one is probably big one, about a centimeter, a very colorful one, but with closed winds, not so colorful, just only hairy. I do not touch them this moment because if you touch the insect sometimes insects will escape and fly very quickly so it's just I recorded the shape shape of the thorax and coloration to recognize this nice hairs on the body on the right side you see head with wings Head with eyes and very tiny antenna, and first pair of legs, and hairy thorax, very hairy thorax. And this shape is this is quite important. Agricultural pests, caterpillars sitting in different agricultural crops, but we were so amazing coloration of fine hairs on the wings, like some horns. Looks like horns, very adaptive coloration. So it looks like some pieces of stems or some kind of leaves. So making the this insect practically invisible on plant or sitting somewhere in daytime. Because in daytime, these moths are inactive. So we need to wait until the evening. And so we're active in evening time and night time. In the daytime, we're becoming practically invisible because we have so adaptive coloration and shape of body. So very nice shape of body. It looks like a small stone or just like a dry leaf, practically invisible. This one is trying to come to the light, just a little bit buzzing with winds. So not so happy because light is very strong making irritating the this but this small or just becoming shocked shocked too much light too much light with this with this small or we'll just close the zoom close zoom in a close zoom we see head three pairs of legs with horns and very tiny antenna Buzzing, 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 making very active. A little bit cleaning and then just flying away. Cleaning and flying away. Yeah, this one. Yes. And these are white with spots, very common in the beginning of June. Right, very nice moss. Quite difficult for identification, but we are making big colonies. If uh, there is a special nest, like a web web nest, with many individuals, maybe even one hundred 
caterpillars can be in one nest. And also this is a black spot, this kind of adaptation to make it invisible. This family is making common position with open wings, with spread wings all up, up where. And this is a male with very, very large antenna. See that? Not very thin, but with very large, with serration. Very special shape of her wings. This, this morpha comes especially in beginning of June, and then later, there is no generation because they lay eggs. And there are some only caterpillars. Maybe second generation will come somewhere in August only. Several generations should be, two or three generations per one year in some southern areas. Okay. Very tiny spots, white color and black spots. These are different tiny, more tiny and big moths which were collected in the summertime. So many species can be coming, but not always the same in different time, in different days, or to be precise, in different night, nights, because some insects can be hatching or just flying away from one place to another, searching for host plant. So in, in this case, occasionally we can come very nice, very nice moth, very colorful size about five millimeter, not very small, big, just five millimeter moth. Very nice. Probably little colletide. Little colletide. Oh, Ratzillaride. Ratzillaride. Mining moths. Common mining moths. In some way, under the epiderm epidermis, in on inside the leaves of different plants with hairy head and hairy wings. Caterpillars living inside leaf, not on the leaf, but inside the leaf in the mines, in special holes under the epidermis. Many very small, tiny leaf mining moths can be collected because for instance, like a chestnut mining moth of a gracilleride, a certain time, the time of the hatching emergence. But this was not the time of gracilleride moth, but some of them were still coming because many different plants usually planted in the city. So each plant has a very special fauna of different insects which are feeding on different plants. So that's why the biodiversity of Night moths can be different in different areas, and it depends from the time. So different species of moths. Uh, this was dancing. This was very dan nice dancing moth. Dancing moth under the strong light. Doesn't matter which place she appeared. She was coming around, making a dance. That's why some beetles were crawling around beetles. This very nice dancing, dancing, dancing moth. Looking around, looking around, looking around, and dancing, 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 <laughs> and crawling very quickly, crawling very quickly, and flying away. So that's why I need to be very attentive and very fast to try to re record it attentively, because this moth was dancing and moving very quickly. From under the lamp to another place. So I was moving with my camera from one place to another place. And I didn't catch them. So I don't need, I didn't need them for I, investigation. I recorded them only this family, probably Gilihide, with special hairs on head on the left side of the screen. Many species are pests of stored products some fruit, dry fruits and dry 
products of a vegetable origin. So they can infest some of your products like dry bread, dry, dry cakes in a storage supermarket. If they can come to the shop in the summertime through the open window and come through a window and can find easily somewhere some food like cakes, dry fruits or some another vegetable products, dry products. So they female will lay eggs and make a kind of high infestation of your product. So be careful about it or some flour or some cakes, pasta, rice or cereals. So that's why this, these guys can come as unexpected most for you house or you're just superstore be careful about this one is practically not dangerous only can make some danger in a garden and an orchard can damage some caterpillars can make damage of leaves but the infestation usually not very high it's, it's only it can be easily located But coloration of this, it looks like a leopard, like a leopard coloration, you see, to make it very bright white, bright white with tiny black spots, and size about about one centimeter, about one centimeter, quite one. There are many species of parasitoids which are living on caterpillars, so that's why population of these moths are usually highly suppressed by parasitoids. Not so many specimens can damage from from pupa. Just many many individuals are parasitized by calcid wasps and ichneumonid wasps by parasitoids. But if you collect on light trap, they are coming from different different places. So you can imagine that so many of them. But on the one same put on the same tree, infestation usually is very highly suppressed by natural parasitoids from the order Hymenoptera. Hymenoptera parasitoids are feeding on these caterpillars and on pupa of this moth. And this is a moth of the family Noctoide. Female with open antenna crawling around and flying very quickly with hairy scales, very long, very hairy scales. And I make any kind of wind to show you just some activities of this moth. So I made wind, so you can see this looks like windy. But it was not windy, but I did it with specials. You have recognized so many species. And here you can use this email for your questions. You can send your private message on my email. You can ask questions about insects, about Ukraine, about nature in Ukraine, where I am now. This is my private email. So easy, quite easy to communicate through email for private messages. You can use my this is my email. People who can use email easily. You can also visit my Patreon page for donations. You can visit my membership bottom under the screen to press join on under the screen. And of course, if you are on Gmail or you, you, you can write comments. Dmitry is on Gmail. He is a common visitor, yes. So he can have he has an opportunity to write questions under 
this video. No, I'm speaking in English for wide audience, for American audience, for English audience, not for another audience. For people who doesn't know English, so no, it doesn't matter. So no problem. And also video doesn't need any explanation. I can explain some families in English and in Latin name. Families name are in Latin, easily to understand. Noctuide, Staphylinide, Nitidulide, Scarabide, and so on and so forth. And also you need to know that English is the international language, which is widely spread all around the world. And I wish all Russian students immigrate from Russia to United States of America for better life. I guess so it will be better for them. They will remember me forever that they have been emigrated or from another country as well. Because, you know, the situation is going not to the, in the best for this federation. Because, because the gladiolos, as we say in some stories. Why? So learn English, speak English, write English, understand English. And don't forget, Ukraine is forever. Looking forward to see you soon on my channel again. Welcome to next stream. If you like insects, good luck. If you don't like insects, not good luck. If you like Ukraine, good luck. If you are not from Ukraine, go off from this channel. This channel is for Ukrainian audience and for your Russian audience and for our international audience who can speak, understand, listen to, hear in English, who can write in English, and don't worry about it. Enjoy yourself, enjoy in English, enjoy nature and insects and entomology. Good luck and see you soon on my channel. Bye-bye. Good luck.